to start with an opening statement about the game today? Disappointing start to the game. You know, Green Bay is a good team. Um, you know, they do a great job dictating tempo. You know, they make teams play at their pace. They play at a wild, frenetic pace, fly up and down the court. They press the entire game. You know, we kind of fell victim to that, you know, and, and again, it's something we've got to do better with from, from start to finish. I was just going to ask you about about their team speed and, and that relentless pressure they keep on for 40 minutes. I know that's, that's yeah. Lynn's turn yeah. for that. Um, can you just talk about what kind of problems that caused you guys in, in setting up your, your offense? And what adjustment did you make after that first time out you called? Well, they, they sped us up, you know, honestly, <clears throat> again, and, and they want to make it a one-on-one -on -one game. You know, they've got a lot of breakdown guys. they got guys that can make shots. Again, they want to play 94 feet, almost like the old Arkansas team. They're just flying up and down the floor. You know, and again, they, they pressure you and they sped us up. You know, we didn't do a good job handling their pressure. And again, we just kind of put our head down. We took some quick shots and allowed them to go back the other way. You know, they don't want to play defense for an extended amount of time. And we played right into their hands. <clears throat> Uh, Coach, this is a, a team, I think if you looked at it coming in, you knew they were going to try to force a lot of turnovers, and you guys kind of uh, fell victim of that early in the game. How much did that kind of throw you off of your offense, and how long did it kind of take before you kind of were settled back into it? I mean, honestly, it was halftime. I mean, maybe a little bit before that. You know, I think we cut into the lead, you know, a couple of different times. They, you know, built it right back up, and we were down 26, I want to say, at the half. You know, we won the second half by eight because we played a little bit more at our pace. You know, again, things that we talked about coming into the game, you know, we found a way to do them a little bit better in the second half. But again, it was, I mean, it's too late. When we spot a good program, that amount of points, it's tough to catch up. Right. Early on, you guys had already had, they already forced five turnovers, and I don't know how many block shots they had at that point, but they finished up with 11. So clearly you guys did a much better job protecting the basketball and not playing into that, that transition game that they were trying to, to, to run on you. What, what was exactly the adjustment? Was it just? Just mentally focusing, honestly. I mean, it wasn't anything that, that I said or we said as a staff. I mean, our guys just kind of settled down. You know, and again, they, they executed things that we talked about. You know, I mean, it's the second game in a row. I feel like turnovers cost us. You know, we're shooting ourselves in the foot right now. We're, we've got a very good rebounding team. Worst case scenario, even though we're not shooting at a high percentage, we've got to give ourselves a chance to get an offensive rebound, you know, and, and a chance at another possession. You know, when you turn the ball over, again, you're back on your heels, and, and it's, uh, it's a rat race. Carlos, can you talk about playing at their pace a little bit? Um, what were you guys prepared to do to prevent that from happening, and where did you guys lose control of that early on? I was just communication and stopping the ball in transition and just getting back um, some of the shots we left. So. We didn't do a good job at, at it at the first, first half, but we kind of settled into it in the um, second half. In that second half, you closed the 26-point lead really quickly to, I think, 15 at one point, and then you had the ball, and I was looking to see if we could get to 13 or 12. Um, what were you guys doing better at that point? I mean, was there any adjustment, or was it just? Yeah, we just, we just gave more effort, and we started talking more, and we started getting back and transition and stopping the ball early and we got in that zone and slowing down a little and so we did. You definitely had your hands full with those 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 two guys who just shoot the lights out of it. Um, they just weren't less less on defense. I think they were shooting sixty percent in the first half and fifty three percent overall. Can you just kinda of talk about those those two guys you were on on love, I believe, part of the game. Yeah, they're great shooters. They had a great night and the only thing we can do is contest. I just hope they miss and they fell in. They shot at a high percentage and I applaud them for that. But we have to do better. Coach, just talk about containing those two guys. I know they, they prevent two different kind of styles. And yeah, it's a great test for us. I mean, our, our schedule is very unforgiving. It, it really is. And we knew that coming in. You know, the, the nice thing about it, mentally, we've got to find a way to maintain and, and stay the course. You know, it's going to prepare us for the OVC. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what your non-conference state is for. This is a team that's similar to the teams that we'll see in league. You know, they're dominated by the guards. They play at a fast pace. They got good athleticism, and they, they want to play up and down. You know, and that's what our league is. So, again, this is something that we've got to grow from. You know, uh, specifically with those two guys, we've got to do a better job. This is the third game in a row, going back to the Campbell game, where we've kind of let one guy, you know, in this case, two guys, 
do what they do. You know, we've, we've got to find a way collectively. It's not just one guy. You know, we play a team defense. There's five bodies on the floor. So now we know coming in they've got one guy. Or they've got two guys that lead them, you know, score all the points, do this. We've got to find a way to, to bottle them up a little bit better. <clears throat> Carlos, one thing your, your coach has talked about is with the young team in the first year, coach uh, is is over the course of the season. How do you guys respond? Um, you know, to to a to a ten zero run, to three losses in a row, whatever it is, to bounce back. It would seem to me that after losing, I think three in a row, and then coming back and falling down twenty six, coming back and winning the second half of the game by eight points and playing a whole lot better um, visibly is part of that of what he was talking about. I mean, could you just kind of speak to that about bouncing back and, and staying in the game? It's just, it's all mental learning. We have to go back and watch film and learn from it, fix it. Once we do that, it's right back on the road to the next game. We have to put it behind us and don't focus on the past and just turn the negatives into positives and just learn from it. That's all. Uh, Coach, I just wanted to get uh, a comment from you on, on Grant's performance. I mean, coming off the bench um, and 18 points in 20-something minutes, uh, just seems early on this season he's really been uh, focused. Um, what's kind of been key to him being so dialed in uh, to start this year? You know, I give Grant a lot of credit because he, he stayed the course. You know, for whatever reason, early in his career, he hadn't seen the floor a whole lot, you know, consistently. He's done a great job for us. I mean, for me, in, in my first year, he's done everything that we've asked him to do as a staff. I mean, he brings energy every day. I'm not talking about on the game on game day. In practice, he's consistent. He's always talking. He, he's he's all over the place, you know, and it shows in his play because it's carryover. You know, I tell the guys all the time, you are what you do and who you are every day. You know, whatever you are in practice, that's what you're going to be in the games. You can't flick on a switch and then you try to be something else come game day. Grant's found a way to be consistent, you know, and his effort is there. He's conditioned. And he plays hard, you know, and, and good things are coming his way right now. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Carlos. Thank you.